The biggest killer of originality is fear. Fear you're going to do something wrong. Fear you're going to make somebody angry. Fear your family's not going to like it. Fear your workshop won't like your story. You just name it. Fear, 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 fear. And the minute these fears come in, the originality shuts down. You go to safety. You go to what's been done. You go to all of what everybody else is doing. So if you know, if you read Heinlein's rule number three and said, well, I, I can't let anybody see my first draft. Well, guess what? Fear has nothing to do with reality. Chances are the first draft's just fine. Have somebody help you clean up the mistakes, have a proof or proof it. Chances are it's a hell of a good story. You know, but your fear is going to win. And therefore, you're going to make it into mundane mush. That's a problem. Originality it comes from back here. And it comes from your heart. And it comes from who you are. As I said in the last video, you have to clear out all that stuff. But just put the phrase, no fear, over the top of your writing computer. No fear. And go that way. Go that way in your career. Go that way in your writing. Go that way in your outlining. Go that way in your production of words. No fear. There is no wrong way. There's only your way. Whatever way you do it that produces sellable words is correct. Period. If you do 20 drafts and it's your way and you have a reason for doing it, great. Continue doing it. If it's more producing sellable drafts and you can produce a lot of product, because in this modern world, product is everything. We're back in a pulp era again. What goes around comes around. If you can do it, do it. If you enjoy the hell out of rewriting, which I think is total drudgery and I don't do, I don't even like looking back in my own stories. Why? I know what happened. What's the point? It takes years and years and years before I can forget a story, and then I'll look back at it and go, oh, that's interesting. You know? Otherwise, that's who I am. Is it the right way for you? Maybe. Maybe not. How do you find out? Experiment. But you can't experiment out of fear. Experiment out of what you want to do. What is right for you? The critical voice, this thing right between your eyebrows, is completely chocked full of fear. It's all that stuff you were taught. It's all that stuff. If you can get out of that, get back into the back brain, and then when it back brain stuff comes out of your fingers, often really quickly, often, you know, 700, 1,000 words an hour maybe on something, depending on what it's going on. And you look down at that, and yeah, it's got typos, and yeah, it's got this or that. You can fix those. Those are easy. Leave it alone, guys. It came out of you. It came out of who you are. It has your author voice in it, which you can't see. You cannot see your own author voice. None of us can. We can't see our own author voices. I can see and mimic other authors' voices as a ghostwriter, but my own voice can't see it. Can't see it. I write my own stories, can't see it. When I'm writing out of back here, everybody tells me I have an author voice. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even try to look for it anymore. I've way given up. I can make characters act different. I can make characters sound different, everything else. But author voice, not a clue. Because that's my art. That's part of who I am. That's me as an artist. Okay? You Fear. Fear is just, just a killer for originality. So when you hear yourself being afraid, when you hear some of those phrases, I can't do that, or it's never been done, or, oh, I really need to, I really need to, you don't. You need to be you. Just be you. The problem, the problem with all this is that most writers that I know don't like to check in and discover who they are. It's only us long-term writers who have over the years decided, hey, I know who I am and the rest of you can go to hell. And you want to see a prime example of that? Watch George Martin. He's doing exactly what he wants to. He doesn't need the money. He likes his fans, but he's writing at his pace and the rest of the world can just go to hell. <laughs> because he's original and he knows how to be original. He's an original person. He's got an original career. He does original writing. Be yourself against all odds. 
and have fun. That's really the key. Go have fun. Thanks for being part of the workshop. Hope to see you down the road.